Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to go in and I'm using a foil from Charlie's Nail Art. It was in my last video. Um, nice and simple fishnet, fishnet foil. Couldn't resist, needed to use it. <laughs> so I'm just going in with a bit of ace coat on my Aliana hand on these tips. We'll have a cure. Okay, so once I've done that, but once I've done that, I'm going in with nail nails on with this nude. Very pretty, nice and pale, quite creamy. Um, now if you there's a lot of fluff on. I did as much as I can to get this flipping fluff off my hand. I did everything. I washed it, all sorts. And there's still bits of bloody fluff. From that glove that I got from Sheen. So, will I be using that one? <laughs> Maybe not. Um, so, yeah, there is little bits of fluff. You don't see it in the end. But, um, I couldn't even get it out. I'd obviously put it into the base coat, which was really annoying because I didn't see it. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I'm going in with this nude. Um, I'm going to do two coats. So I will let you watch. I'm going to speed it up. Okay, so I'm just wiping off that inhibition layer and I'm going to go in with my Neo Nails Foil Glue and I'm going to give that a 30 second cure. I think through the whole of this video you will see me pick bits of fluff off this hand so I do apologise. <laughs> I've used the Nao Nails Foil Glow um, just because this uh, this is on my practice hand. So uh, my favourite is, is the um, Sparkle Supplies UK one. Um, I don't think they're selling that at the moment. So I'm trying to hold that one back um, for my clients. Now this isn't the best of glues, I have to admit. Um, they could do with improving this at Nao's. Um, so the index finger didn't 
turn out that great really but it does come good in the end so bear with me oh, and i'm going in with this fishnet um, foil from charlie's nail art as always my discount code is in the description below and the link to her website don't forget to use my code kerry10 in capitals I'll give you 10 percent off so i'm going to really rub these in i'm going to do it on every nail um i'm not too worried about it if it's not so i'm going to do some extras on these nails as well so i'm going to let you keep on watching Okay, sorry, um, my hand is in the way. I've picked up my dotting tool and I have gone in with some gel uh, paint, my gel black gel paint from CJP. And I'm just putting dots um, around the triangles so you can just see what I'm doing here. Like I said, I'm going in with another colour as well on these. Um, it's going to make them really pop. So yeah, I'm just oh, got a bit camera out of focus. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not going to do the whole nail because I'm covering um, the bottom half of the nail with a gel polish as well. So yeah, I'm just going to carry on putting dots in where I think we need to add them. I finally got some gloves. Um, I don't like not having gloves. Um, the, the, my first package just did not turn up, so I had to message him, but he was very good and sent me some more first class. So yeah, finally got some gloves. So yeah, just lightly not too big a dots, but enough to see them. And I'm just doing the top end or the bottom and cuticle end of the nails. Then they will have a 60 second cure. I did decide on the pinky to go in with full dots on this one um, because the I just thought the foil looked so nice on this one. Um, yeah, I thought that is just literally down to the glue.
yeah that last dot I just didn't want that <laughs> so I was taking it off um, right so as soon as I've stopped faffing they will have a cure okay so I'm going in with my Ami from the Jabot link this is a super bright pink um, absolutely gorgeous it's gonna make the rest of the nails pop so I'm just going in with my liner brush sorry my hand is in the way again but you'll see in a minute so I'm going to do like a half French on this side on the index finger I'm literally just going to color all that in um, they will all have two coats and then on the middle finger I'm going to do a full French on the ring finger I'm going to do another half French but on the opposite side and then on the pinky I am literally just doing the tip so I'm gonna let you watch and I'll come back in a bit Okay guys, so these have all had a cure. I'm just filling in, whoops, <laughs> I'll do wipe that one off. Just some more dots um, where I think, obviously where the, um, the pink gel paint hasn't covered. So yeah, I'm just gonna sweep that off that. Um, I'm then gonna go in with a base coat that's just gonna smooth the, uh, it's just going to smooth this out a little bit because I'm going to go in with some rhinestones as well. Um, while I faff around, pick more fluff off. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Right, so these rhinestones dirt, were dirt cheap. I've had them for like ever. And I thought I'm going to use these because it's my practice hand. It was the perfect colour as well, um, and it will just save me 
sort of using my preciosas or Swarovskis and my zodiacs and all that so um yeah i uh i just thought i'll i'll just use these i mean sometimes i do use my others but um i make sure they're not sealed in so i can take them off but with this design i'm going in with these cheapos they did turn out really cute though So yeah, uh, this is just the base coat. I'm using the Neo 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 Nails base coat. And do I? I think I might even cure. I think I cure it. Right. So now I'm going to go in with these rhinestones, and I'm going to place them all around where the French meets the fishnet. Um, once I've done that, I'm going to seal them in. Um, I use matte top coat on the fishnet foil and shiny top coat on the pink. Yeah, I think I might have to do another design as well. I've got another design in my head now watching this back. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I love it. There's so many different variations that you can do with this fishnet foil. Um, perfect. Okay, so I am going in with the Urban Graffiti Ultra Matte on the fishnet foil. This is also going to seal in those crystals. I do go around with a detailer brush as well. Just make sure that I've covered everywhere and around those crystals. Well, they're not crystals, they're rhinestones. Um, Yeah, they'll have a 60 second cure and then, well I think I do the shiny as well before curing. Um, so yeah, what do you think guys? I love them. I love this foil. It's just, oh, there's so much more you could do with this foil. Um, yeah, when I when I ordered it, I thought, yeah, I've got to do a design with that. Um, so yeah, I've just kept it simple, but um, yeah, I think they just turned out super sexy, uh, nice and bright as well. Just, yeah, stunning. Stunning, quite elegant in a way. Um, yeah, tell me what you think. <laughs> Leave any comments below. Uh, we are coming up to the end of the video. Um, I do hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. That would be awesome. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll show you some clips at the end, as always. Um, yeah, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.